everybody! Exciting day today! It's the day that we draw the giveaway. Um, and I will be doing it during this live. I just wanted to leave it for a couple of uh, minutes. Not very long, but a couple of minutes. Just to allow everybody who wants to, to join us. Because very often um, people come in sort of 10-15 minutes into the live. So I'd like as many of you here as possible to... Uh, to witness the live and see who the drawing and see who wins. I have decided, as you can probably see by what's on my desk, that you really need to know how to make this. <laughs> it would make really lovely little Christmas gifts, I think, uh, or racks or uh, birthday presents to people on the group or people in other groups that you know. Talking of birthdays, let me wish Terry Cole Cochran a very happy birthday, Mabel Gomez a very happy birthday, and Lynn Whitman. Happy birthday, all three of you ladies. Um, I hope you all have the best day that you that you can have. Right, so let's have a closer look at, at this, see what it is that we need and what we're going to do. Uh, I did show it to you, but this time it's in anger because this time <laughs> we're really going to make it. So pay attention. This on the outside is an envelope and it is an envelope of this size, which says C6. I'm just using white. If you've got coloured, you can use coloured. It really doesn't matter. Um, so one of those is what's required. So I don't need any more than that. Uh, this... We'll, I'll just make it with the papers that I'm going to use, um, but you might want to back it onto some coffee stained card or whatever, you know, however you would normally do it. Um, this is going to be design paper, but you'll see when I open it up, it's actually one, two, three envelopes. And it's this sort of envelope. These we refer to them as DL, DL envelopes over here, and I'll give you the exact measurement of these ones. Um, it's four and a quarter by a tad over eight and a half, eight and a half. I'll give you that in centimetres because I know some of you work in that new fancy currency. Um, it's 22 centimetres by 11 centimetres. So you need three of those. So I'll get three of those out. And for this flap here, that is another envelope. Now that that's a bit of a kind of floating voter really. It, it, it can be anything you like as long as it's not longer than that because it has to bend there. So for that, I used that envelope. For this one, I'm going to use this, which is just a bit too long, but I don't mind really because it's, it's got a pocket in the top anyway. So I'm going to be slicing the top off. So it matters not a jot that it's too long, but it is kind of the right width. So that's, I mean, if it was too wide and you didn't have any, just chop the, the width off and stick it down again. You know, it's going to be covered in paper, so uh, it doesn't really matter. The other thing that I have used is uh, coffee stained paper. This is not card. And I've put some little things in the journal as you would normally do. So I'm presuming that most of you have something that you'd want to include, be it graph paper, ledger paper, uh, vellum, you know, whatever. Um, you'll need some thread to tie your three hole pamphlet stitch. Alternatively, you could machine sew down there if you wanted to. And the other thing you'll need is a bit of fabric. This isn't strictly, strictly necessary, but I feel it's much safer having fabric on that hinge. Um, it just, because these, these envelopes, they are thin. They really are thin. So they need all the help that they can get. Um, and the pockets, etc., they will all be from the papers, um, same again with that. And the two pieces of paper that I folded up and put in as journaling, I just, I'm getting this out just as, a, as an excuse to look at it and feel it really, it's just so pretty. I just left the back plain. 
um, and we'll be using papers out of the kit for that as well. Well, I say kit, I'm going to show it to you now and you'll see it's not really a kit. So that folds over, that folds over, that folds over, that folds over. Um, and you'll need some ribbon to tie it. Not, and that's it. It's not massive amounts of stuff that you need for this. And it's a really nice thing when it's finished. I, th I hope you'll agree. Um, the papers I've opted to use are a bit of a departure for me. Uh, these are Lorna Taylor from Taylor Made Journals on Etsy. Uh, and she's got lots of sets of, of um, images, not so much kits, but sets of images. And this is from a grungy wallpaper set three. I also this morning have purchased another set, but that's a different story. This is set three. And they're all inter intermingle, you know, you can intermingle them all one with the other. They're all old wallpaper and looking at this I'd say about the 50s something like that um, but it it just appeals to me I like it and it's different from the the, the shabby chic that I've already done so I've, I've printed out some papers I can't for the life of me remember how many I needed I'm not overly fussed if I'm left with some because I'll just go on and make another one so I've chosen that paper this one how evocative of the 40s and 50s um, this one, which is quite similar to that, actually, a bit too similar, perhaps, but it's gorgeous. You could paper my bedroom in that now and I would be delighted. Uh, this one, which is even better. I just adore this one. Look at it. I, I love that green, as you all know, and I love dog roses. So if you put them together, what have you got? A huge success as far as I'm concerned. Uh, this one, which I thought would do for some of the kind of backgroundy bits. Uh, it's gold coloured. <laughs> it's not really gold. It's gold coloured. Uh, this one, which is really vibrant. And I think there's one more. This one. So they're all pretty papers in their own right. I have no idea how they're all going to stand up to each other. Um, it, it may look pants. <laughs> <laughs> it might look pants when it's finished um but you know if it does well i'll just keep it for myself <laughs> if it looks nice i'll put it in the etsy shop so should we have a roll call yes flo said they must be they must be from your new printer they look amazing yeah they're re honestly flo uh, oh, it's illegal to marry your brother but in this case my brother and I are getting along just fine. Terry. Hiya, Terry. You were here good and early again. Good girl. Maureen. Hello, Maureen. I hope you're all right. Michelle. Hello, Michelle. Michelle Hello. Ream. Sorry? Michelle Ream. No. No. Michelle no. Mertz. Mertz. Hello, Michelle. Created behind Michelle. Yeah. Uh, Hilda. Hello, Hilda. I'm sorry to read that you're not feeling overly well today. Flo. Hello, Flo. Donna Moses. Hi, Donna. Did I mention Maureen? Yes. Yep. Ros Peel. Hello, Ros. Who will forever be Ron in my mind. Sorry. Smiley Janya. Hello, Janya. She is smiley, isn't she? She's lovely. Janna Ann. Hi, Jan. Nice to have you with us. Kathleen. Hi, Kathleen. Sharon Davis. Hello, Sharon. Leslie M. Hi, Leslie. Mr. F. Hello. Mary Kay. Hi, Mary. Mike S. Hello, Mike. Janess. <laughs> Jen Sinclair. Jen oh, Jen S. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's Mike S and Jen S. I thought he was saying Jen S. I thought <laughs> I don't know that name. Hiya, Jen. I've been putting gems on things this morning, Jen. You'd be proud. Bonnie P. Hi, Bonnie. Max. Hello, Max. Glad you could make it. Susan Peave. Hello, Susan. Pat Rutherford. Hi, Pat. Nancy. Hello, Nancy. It occurred to me, it's, I've just noticed, Nancy, that I just missed your birthday. I'm really sorry about that. Of course, I wish you every happy birthday you could possibly have and i hope you're improving you're often often in my thoughts carol vaughan hi carol camellia 
Hi, Julie. <laughs> we should start calling her Camellia. Yeah. Uh, chameleon. Amanda. Hi, Amanda. Anique. Hi, Anique. Sandra. Hello, Sandra. Oh, Dixie. Oh, Dixie. <laughs> Tony Vince. Hi, Tony. I think that possibly is it. Oh, Jane J. Hello, Jane. If I've missed you, shout out. Okay, well, seems like a lot of you are here, and I know that you're not particularly here to see me. Not all of you, I know that. So let's get on with the order of the D. Pop these to one side. I'll come back to those after we've uh, done the exciting, groovy stuff. Right. This is the best I could find this morning to lay out my goodies on. It's kind of nice, isn't it? And it's just been in the washer, so it smells gorgeous. Um, I have here before me a list of everybody who has entered into the... I just give you a chance to have a look and find yourselves. Um, but there's quite a lot of you. We've never done a drawing where we've had this many of you. Put that over a bit. You need to drag them down slightly if you're doing that. Okay. It's off the top. Oh, we're off the top. Yeah, off the top. That's it. Oh. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, I might have to fold some of this over because I can't get you all on. See, it comes in handy being a paper crafter, doesn't it? Just hide you a second because your head's in the way. Yeah, hide me. It's a seamless, oh, yeah. seamless it is. I hope that's the last one. It's the last one. So there you are. Everybody who commented on the post in my group, that's all your names there. I think we said there was 91. Couple of you. You know who you are. You tried to get on twice, but it's not worked. Now, let me just draw your attention to this at the top. The first thing that we draw out will be the Big Holly Jolly Journal. The second name will be the Edith Holden uh, Easy Peasy Journal. The third one will be the Shabby Chic Easy Peasy Journal. And the fourth one's the Holiday Journal. Please note, if your name comes to the top twice, you will only win once. You'll only win the first thing that your name came up for. The second time, the winner will be number two on the list. I'm sorry, but I really want to spread this amongst four people. So it's, you know, if your name comes up twice, you'll win the first thing that you won, but the second time it'll go to the person in number two. I hope you understand and agree with that. We just want to spread the love as wide as we can. So, so what we're going to do is Gosh. enter the names. I'm really nervous. So what we've decided to use is a thing on the internet called random.org where you put all of these names, and they are all in there because we literally copied and pasted, uh, into random.org. And then you push a little button, click a thing on the mouse that says randomize, and then they come out in a list, number one, two, three, all the way down. And the winner will be the person in the number one position. I'm pointing at you and talking to you, and, and I'm not. My head isn't even on there. <laughs> oh, hello. Um, yeah. So the the winner will be the person in the number one position, unless that person has won something previously in the draw, in which case it will go to the number two on the list. You with me? Really? Right. Shall I put up the, uh... I'm getting really quite nervous about this. Yeah. I'm going to put up the computer. Put up the computer. Where are the giveaways anyway? Yeah. Oh. I'll hand them to you. Oh, okay. So, we'll just have a quick. Hopefully, you should be able to see it on your screen by now. Oh, no, I'm really nervous. We'll just scroll through all the names. We've copied and pasted them all in there. Exactly the same as you see on the paper. And then we're going to go to randomize. 
And see who gets the first prize. Here first we go. prize is the Holly Jolly Journal, the large Holly Jolly Journal. Jody McKay Abney. Jodie McKay Adney. There you go, girl. You won the Holly Jolly Journal. I have no idea where in the world you are. Perhaps you'd like to come on and let us know. This is what you've won. This is your gift. And it's sent from us with love, I can tell you. Um, and I hope you like it. So please, if you're watching, could you come on and let us know where in the world you are? Um... It, I'd be interested to know. And in any case, I'm going to need your address to send it off tomorrow. So let me just get a pen and write, draw a line around Jodie. And she was first. Okay. Okay. We're going to randomise that list again. And this is for the Edith Holden Easy Peasy Journal. Go back to the computer. What does the computer say this time? And here we go again. Susan Hole. <laughs> Brilliant. Well done, Susan. You've won this. Um, it's a really cute little um, easy peasy journal made with Edith Holden papers. So if you weren't into Edith Holden, and I've no idea if you are or not, but you will be after you look at those papers because they're lovely. So where is Susan then? Where is Susan? Bottom of the first list. Bottom of the, oh yes, there you are, Susan. Uh, so next is the Edith, all right there. Next is the Shabby, the Shabby Chic uh, Easy Peasy Journal. I don't know why I'm so nervous, but I really am. Here we go, we're gonna go down to the bottom and it again. And this time is Mabel Gomez. Yeah, Mabel, for your birthday. <laughs> That's fantastic. So you are the winner of this little uh, shabby chic, easy peasy journal. Oh, that's fantastic. I'm so pleased you got it for your birthday. Where are you? Here you are. So that's third. So that's shabby. Okay. Right. One more to go. Back to the list for the holiday. Back to the list for the holiday. Scroll to the bottom again. <clears throat> This time we have Corrine Lucy Johnson. Corrine, where are you? Corrine. I, oh, here you are. Corrine, well done. Very well done. You've got this uh, lovely little holiday um, easy peasy journal. I hope you like it. It's just a bit of fun, but you might feel inclined to take notes during the holiday season. Who knows? Um, so... Let me just put a ring around you and you a fourth so you get the holiday one. I'll put holes, I think I'll know what that means. So there we go, guys. I'm really sorry for all of you who entered and didn't win. Like I said before, it would be great if we could send a present to each and every single one of you. It can't be done and that was the fairest way we could think of, of doing it. So... Happy Christmas, one and all. Um, you know, we do giveaways relatively often on this channel. So keep them peeled. You never know what's coming up next. You never know. Oh, I feel slightly deflated now. <laughs> you must even find something else. <laughs> to give away. Just keep yeah, just keep away. giving away. It's empty the hours out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not such a bad idea. Let's have a drink and see if that steadies my nerves. Right, okay, let's get cracking on this. The order of the day. Um, I hope I can remember how to do this. <laughs> That's all I can say. And there is quite a bit of inking up to do. So I think what I'm going to do is ink around my envelopes first. Um, because it becomes more, more difficult. No, I'll tell you what, I'm just going to ink down that side. But you see these bits here, they need to get cut off. They serve no purpose. So you just cut those off. Oh, 
Oh, I've got the shakes good and proper now from all that nerve, nervous energy. So on all three envelopes, cut this bit off. And it's much easier to do it before you assemble it. Assemble it. And once it, when you have it assembled, it's really tricky to do. And, you know, I speak from personal experience here. Jen, I'm so sorry that you didn't win the Edith Holden. Right, so we'll get these prepared, do a bit of exciting inking, and I know it's not very exciting for you to watch, but it's kind of got to be done. And uh, truth be told, I didn't think about doing it before I came on. <coughs> Excuse me, otherwise I probably would have done. But you know. I was, I was actually doing the... Um... Jen says she's crying so hard she can hardly type for you now. <laughs> Don't make me feel so bad. You did put LOL afterwards. Oh. I was really hoping it was going to be you because I knew how much you wanted it. But alas, it's gone to a good home, hopefully. Um, I can't remember who it went. Susan Hall. Oh, it's definitely gone to a good home. I've known Susan a long time. Right, so that's done. I'm just going to, I'm going to be using some different ink today. And I would be using Shabby Photo. No, vintage photo if I had any, but my pad has finally given up the ghost and I haven't got a reinker and blah blah. So I'm using this cosmic shimmer in the cozy clay. It's a bit of an odd. Sorry, yeah. Uh, Leslie M would like to know if you can use the ordinary envelopes with the triangular flap. Yes. Just as long as they're that size, I guess. Um you'll see when I put these together, you might have to trim a bit off your triangular flap. Um <laughs> <laughs> That sounds a bit painful, doesn't it, really? Um, so, yeah, I would, as I say, ordinarily be using um, vintage photo, but I don't have any. This is a bit of a, of a grey-brown, actually. But it should go with a grungy wallpaper, I think. So I'm just going to do along the flap because it gets increasingly difficult to do, especially if you've put paper on the underneath part. You just can't get to it. Then I'll stick them together so you can see how they go and then you can work out, Leslie, if you need to cut bits off or trim bits down rather more, I would have thought, than cut them off. Right, so that'll do for that just now. I don't want really, really heavy, heavy inking. Uh, Jen wants to know, did me or you make the uh, granny square blanket? My mother did. <laughs> and she's been dead almost 10 years. So, um, yeah, it's not in its first flush of youth. So this envelope, this is envelope one, flat on the table, folded open. Okay, envelope two. So it goes into this crease, into this fold crease. The fold goes on the fold. Okay. So this is the complete opposite to that. And it goes, just sits into there. But you might find it easier to put your glue on, a bit like we did with the Easy Peasies. In fact, the same. <laughs> so like it's the same. Square your ends up before you actually push your press that down for once and all. So I'm going to use Collal on here. I don't know if any of you have tried Collal. I know Hilda did and she said, oh, it's so runny. Um, it is, but you kind of get used to it. And it, it it's good at its job. So I'm going to leave that flap folded like that and just hold that off where I'm going to glue it to. Make sure I've got those nicely lined up and then come back and crease that down. And just make sure that you can fold that over there. 
okay so in doing that you're ensuring that you know the that it'll work properly like that so then we're going to glue this flap onto there it seems to be a, a lot of like gluing of flaps and stuff don't worry it's really easy and if you watch this back you'll you'll see that it's it's not complicated i'm just making it sound like that i'm good at that sort of thing there we go so I'll just push that over and open it up and press it down if you don't open it up you get a sort of ridge along there that's not desirable so open that up get your bone folder out press it down so you've got a good contact and it, and then fold it over to where it wants to fold naturally and fold it again uh, thingy it again right so we've got two envelopes that look like that so this is now a pocket this is now a pocket we need to attach the third one and the third one goes unsurprisingly <laughs> on the end of here um, but with the flap up like that okay so more glue along there this is the construction part and if I'm honest this is the part I like the best uh, well I like putting the papers on too it's the uh, tags and stuff that's kind of not my favorite really so just make sure that you've got that on the end there and it's level same height etc with the collar you just get a little minute to move it around which you don't get with uh, some glues so crease that down so this is what you've got okay so it looks like that on that side and it looks like this on this side okay you might have to watch this back to see what what on earth i was going on about but once you get the hang of it says she hopefully you get the hang of it so i'm gonna ink around there before i do i just want to show you what i've done this morning on the old holly jolly uh, it's not even holly jolly on the let it snow journal um i have made a tag to go in the pocket that I made for the take five challenge and that's the tag that I made which is quite glittery but you, you know you don't really catch it very much um so I stamped yes stamped I dared myself uh these snowflakes and this is lace and it's got some sort of I've got some blue mesh I don't know where it came from there you can see it there it's got sparkly bits and it. it's really nice so I put that under the, I've got some lace on it and some sparkly stuff. Um, and I, I just put beads down there. Sorry? What? It's a bit of a glue string on there. So. Yeah, there is. I did notice it. I was just <laughs> ignoring it. I had mentally noted it to go back and fix it, but thank you. <laughs> so that fits into there. It's uh, re on the reverse. It's coffee stained card and in here I've made one of those pockets that I make like that it's got white lace on uh, these were baubles die cuts for baubles but I just cut the outside off and left myself with a snowflake put a nice shiny blingy gem in there and then this is the tag it's got white organza ribbon another one of those snowflake things and a bead in there and that fits in there and that is it that's all I achieved this morning but I quite like it. It's coming along. Every little thing I do is a help. Right. Oh, so. Okay. What did I do with it? Oh, it's under here. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny, but it is. <laughs> I thought I can't have lost it. I just can't. Not already so soon. So I'm just... This sponge is not really playing ball. That's better. I've, 
it's just been washed so it's not sort of full of ink and they distribute ink better when they're absolutely chock-a-block you'll you, you'll only see the edge of this um i know i'm shaking shaking the table the foundations are shaking mr f's having to hang on to the table while i do this not for the first time <laughs> <laughs> have i had to hold on to the table when you make the earth shake give me a look give me a look no i'm ignoring you <laughs> I'm ignoring you completely. So as you can see, well, I hope you can see, this is a kind of weird grey minky sort of colour. Anique says she loves your laugh. <laughs> I love your name. I think it's fantastic. Now we've got the hang of it and decided not to call it antique. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if you can see this, but it is a it's it's grey. Yeah, you can see that perfectly. So I'm all the way around there. So I need to do all the way around here. Really sorry guys. Still a stitch and all that, but you know. It's gotta be done, you all know that. Doesn't matter if you get bits like that because the paper's gonna cover it. Jean says you can call her antique. Oh, Jean. <coughs> Don't knock yourself, lass. No. There's you, plenty of people in the world just queuing up, ready to blink and knock you. Exactly. We might call you vintage, though. <laughs> You're horrible today. <laughs> so at this stage, you can see that you could actually use envelopes that don't match. You know, colour wise, you could have a cream one stuck in there, and by the time you've inked it, um, nobody's going to know what colour it started out. Same with a little envelope at the back. You know, if you haven't got one, I think the first one I used was brown check because it was the the right size. Right, you'd be glad to. Oh no, hang on. I need to ink down here. It's a bit prem there, ladies. Sandra Rocco's just joined us. Hi, Sandra. You didn't win, I'm afraid, Sandra. No, you didn't, my dear. That's the thing when, you know, 91 people enter and there's only four giveaways. Somebody's going to not win. The majority, in fact. Don't fault your mouth. So I think when we get down to here, we're done. Unless we come across any bits. But that's the bulk of it anyway now. Right, I'm putting the lid on it. I think we're done. I'm going to have a drink of pop and then start to pretty it up. Oops, that was right on the microphone. Sorry. Got bits of sponge sticking to me. Okay, drink of pop. Next on the agenda. So, which of these papers should we use? The first paper that we use goes from the edge of this pocket here, right underneath here. And I always find that a bit of jiggery-pokery, actually. So you do see it because you see this. Um, let me just wipe my hands. I don't want to be getting ink on things that I don't want to. Yeah, I'll show you the bit that we're about to put on. It's the bit that goes right up to here and it goes underneath this pocket Max yep. has got to go oh well thanks Max for joining um, I know your time is precious nice to see you so we just need to select a paper really I think I'm going to keep that for the outside because I just adore it this is really nice though isn't it mm, so is that though well let's go with this one um, it doesn't as far as I can see have an up and a down or maybe it does. Uh, I'd quite like to use this very colourful bit if I can. Um, 
I need it to go to the, the edge of here so I'll just get my freshly sharpened pencil out and make a mark so I want it to go to there and I want it to tuck under this pocket but it doesn't need to tuck loads and the more you've got the the worse a job it is so I'm just going to take it to there so I'll cut those off there and because these are DL envelopes they're made in this country to take folded A4 so they're you know a, a good size for our papers you don't have to cut anything off the width so let's chop that there wow am I off straight I mean these marks although important they're fairly arbitrary that's a nice bit left and I'm just going to cut this off here somewhere about make sure I'm straight down that front edge I can't see us using that but it seems too nice to chuck out so I'll hang on to it oh no not more inking <laughs> well you only need to ink a little bit of this along here so it's it, you know it's not not majorly inking because Oh no, you see the leading edge, don't you? Oh, for heaven's sake. Um, so do the sides on the edge that's going to be the edge of the pocket, which is this one here. These sets of wallpaper, grungy wallpaper um, from Lorna, I, they're really not the sort of thing that I you'd ever suspect I'd buy really but I was looking at them and I just I just thought there's so much I can do with those rather than just you know the one journal that's it I've used them goodbye because you get loads of papers I don't know how many you get maybe 20 more maybe even than 20 so this is going to go I'll show you now where it's going to go just in case it all goes wrong it's going to go there like that so it's going to be the edge of this pocket and it's going to go inside that one. So I'm just going to glue only a, a bit of it at this stage because <laughs> I can't cope with it when it's all wet. It sticks to itself and everything. So this is the bit that's going in under the pocket. And a little bit more. So in it goes, in it goes, just keep going in, that's great, well done, keep going. So I need to bring this edge up to the edge of my pocket, fairly square on, stop it, stop it I said. Look, I'm always extolling the virtues of collar because you don't stick instantly, so behave yourself please this is the worst bit of the whole journal okay just saying right so that's there so I just need to tuck, tuck this under here I'm making a right cat-handed job of this probably got no glue whatsoever left on it right that is going there and don't argue with me anymore because that is where you're going. No, it still wants to argue. All right, I'm going to do the other side and then tuck that in last. Seeing as the glue's dried, it doesn't really matter. You do want quite a bit of glue along that leading edge, the pocket edge. Because you don't want that to come undone. I'm just going to carry on gluing and hope it works. <laughs> oh dear. 
Oh, this isn't a sign of what's to come today. Lynn Whitman says hi. Hi, Lynn. Happy birthday. So that's tight, snug fit across there. And then this needs to go into there somehow. Oh, blame me. I do not know how I did it the last time. Yeah, like that. That's how I did it. Possibly help if you don't shake. I don't really want to rip my envelopes either. Go on, go on, go on. Yay! Okay, that's fine. I'll see you uh, next Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> well, what a kerfuffle that was. Anyway, look, it's down. Doesn't it look gorgeous? I'm, I'm going to get my uh, bone folder and give that just a friendly persuasion just to stay stuck. People say that should be wallpaper. What, proper wallpaper? Yeah, the Yeah, but it is. I know. It's, it's from Lorna Taylor, from Taylor Made Journals on Etsy, uh, from her one of her kits called Grungy Wallpaper. Because look at it, it's wallpaper. It's just beautiful. Yes, I know, but at that size, it'd be rather awkward to wallpaper your wall. Yeah, sort of A4 sheet after A4 sheet. <laughs> yeah. That's about all we can manage. I mean, if you've ever seen us wallpaper, it would be better with A4 sheets. It's probably true, <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> Oh dear. Yeah, us wallpaper is a bit like that. It's easy, a bit of a kerfuffle. Be easy to pattern match. Oh, that's one. Thank you very much for that. So what is what are people saying? Well done. Thanks, Jen. Thank you. Oh, Dixie, what a workout. You're quite, you're quite right. Um, that happens to me every time I try to line it. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, lol, you did it. And it's gorgeous. Thanks, Nancy. Oh, you're so nice to me, Nancy. Uh, Kathleen, beautiful. My guess. Oh, I was holding my breath. <laughs> uh, well, I was kind of holding my breath, but I had to sort of talk as well. Um, oh, I, I can't see that because I haven't got my right glasses on. But does that say Sealja? See, see ya. <coughs> oh, thank you. It sounds quite Nordic. Maybe I'm wrong. Danish, maybe. Danish, perhaps, yeah. <laughs> There's a guess. <laughs> That's a random guess from nowhere. Oh, look, I've exhausted... thinking of bacon. I've exhausted myself already. <laughs> right, then. Norwegian. Oh, I was quite right then when I said Nordic. We're not making much progress today, are we, Fem's like? Right, so out of my lovely other papers that I've printed off... It's a lovely country, Norway. I haven't been here, you've been a couple of times, haven't you? Yeah. Um, I've got this one. That's really nice. And it wouldn't it wouldn't clash with that, would it? Let's put it where it's going. It's going there. Okay, I quite like that. There's this one, but it might be a bit too similar. And it's on cream, so it might make this look dirty. Uh, I've got gold, but I've got a place where that's going. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah, might be that one, actually. This one, which I can just hear Hilda saying to me, use that one. <laughs> and there's no reason why not. Looks nice. And this one's going on the front. So, I think I might use that pink one. I really like it. So it's going to go there. Once again, tight up to the uh, edge of the pocket and leave a sort of margin around because you've got a margin top and bottom anyway. So leave a little margin around, not much. And we'll cut that there and we'll do some more dreaded inking. Sorry, there's a fair bit of this cutting and inking malarkey. Oh dear me, let's hope other bits of paper go on a bit more readily than that one. That was just awkward, wasn't it, eh? So I hope that you all are all well. I'm feeling a good bit better today. Um, and I'm hoping that I'll get better and better as the week progresses. No reason why not. 
So this needs to be inked all the way round because it's visible on all sides. Oh, my ink's gone really warm because it was next to my coffee. So I'm not doing a heavy, heavy, heavy ink. It's not a heavy colour. It's kind of like, I would say it's like hickory smoke in the distress range. I'll stick that on. This is going to be really plain sailing compared to that last thing. I nearly said a swear word. Which way do we want it? That way? Oh, that way. Oh, the other way, I think. That way. Let these roses sing. There's a company called BB Crafts in the States. I don't know if it's a, a common place where people go to shop for things or not. Um, but they're having a, a sort of YouTube affiliate program over here whereby, you know, if, if they like your videos, you are allowed to go onto their site and spend, I think it's about $40, something like that. And they send you, you can choose the goods, you can choose what you what you get. Um, and they send them to you and they ask that you do an unboxing video when you get it. And use the things that they've sent you in, in a couple of videos. So I have been on, I have ordered. Uh, I've got a confession to make. Let me just... Uh, persuade this it never wants to move again in its life um you know you guys know that i have the you know the european mountain of envelopes I really have and i'm trying desperately to get through them and do you know one of the things i ordered <laughs> envelopes yes i ordered envelopes i mean why dunn has got to go and make Donna Moses has got to go and make Sunday lunch. Oh, well, didn't take long for us I'm to get round to food. To the next Take Five challenge. Yes, me too. I haven't worked out what it's going to be yet, but it'll be um, interesting. I haven't even done last week's yet. I think I need that this way, don't I? To sort of match a little. No, no, that's. Yeah, that's how it was, I think. So that's. Well, I, I I want a bit of this on here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna cut into it. I think. Yeah, you haven't done even done last week's yet. You're lax, very lax about your business this week, because I know you've had nothing to do. <laughs> so I'm just making a mark where I want to cut that, so that I can get a nice piece. You don't need to be this fussy, you know, I mean, if you've got smaller patterns on your paper, then, uh, you know, you'll be fine. I'm just kind of fussy cutting out really the bits that I want. You can see it does come together really quickly. That no, I'm throwing that. Uh, Leslie M says, "Does the paper overlap the first one on the fold, or is it flush with it?" I missed that when you placed it. Oh, I've got that in the right place. Uh, does the paper, this paper, it goes up to this envelope side here, and then under this one? Okay, so it's up to this, flush with that and under there. If that doesn't make sense, ask a question again, Leslie, and I'll get back to you. I haven't cut this off at the mark that I made. I've cut it off at some spurious mark on the wallpaper. So as a consequence, I've got the wrong size. It is just a question of, of getting it sorted in your head. 
I think. Because once you do, it sort of makes sense. You know, you'll have to follow me along for the first one that you do. And then after that, it, you'll easily see what you're up to. Let's just check that that's right this time. Yes, that's lovely. So we'll ink around that. Oops. Largely what this is doing is just getting rid of that white core of the paper. It might be slightly grunging it up slightly, but not massively, which I'm quite happy with. But I would, I'd ask you, go to Lorna, uh, Lorna's shop, Taylor Made Journals. Lorna makes journals as well, and I tell you, she makes glorious journals. So I want that flush up to here, and then it's got this uh, border all around it, which is fine, because the papers have got a border. So let's glue that one down. Hope, I hope this is making sense to you, Leslie. If not, ask again. I think when you get the envelopes in your hand and you put them where they're going, it really, you know, it all becomes apparent what's going on. It's very warm in this room today. So even my collar is uh, drying quickly. So which way up? That way up. So flush with the edge of that pocket and just up a little bit so it all sort of follows on. Like that. Now at this stage we've got two sort of hinges. This this one, which is going to have a signature sewn in it. So that that's just not strong enough. It's nowhere near strong enough. And this, where it's going to fold over. And I'm just going to fold that because, of course, I've put this paper on so it, it's um, resistant to folding. So I'll just fold it. Just so it's just light of the crease line. So that will still come over the top like that. Excellent. So we've got a crease line here that I've just created, which is, you know, where the envelopes meet, which is also, it's it's going to get somewhere, but it has got this paper on top, which is quite thick paper. So I'm not so worried about that. I am worried about this one, which I think is quite vulnerable. So I'm going to use this micropore tape that I got from the chemists. Um, and it's virtually see-through, but it doesn't matter because there'll be things going on top of this. So, you know, don't worry about its um, opacity or transparency at all. But as you can see, sorry. It says your journals and photos that she got are gorgeous. <sighs> Thank you, Hilda. She is such a big supporter of us all. Um, looks after us and sends us sends me new things to try out and show you and I could never thank oh, her enough. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We seem to have a, a, a lagging on your overhead camera, so. Oh right. Um, broken down yeah oh no just when I'd got over the things and they were looking all right it's not having it stop streaming for a second for a minute I've restarted oh okay I 
Are we working again? No. No. Oh, what a shame we've got lots of people today. I suppose well. you can still talk though. And I can talk. The camera. Oh. It's just the overhead camera that's. All oh, right. Okay. For some reasons timed out. Oh. Bear with. Never normally does that. As you know, you usually watch me for hours at a time. So this is beginning to actually, when you can see it, it's beginning to look quite nice. I hope you can get me back because I really want to push forward with this little. I'm trying. I know, not you. I'm just saying in general. So all you're left with is a freaky little head in the corner. Well, a freaky big fat head in the corner. <laughs> Let's try that. Mr. F's running around madly, trying to sort our problems out. I blame Black Friday. Probably nothing whatsoever to do with that. Right, I think we may be back. Give it a try. Hello, hello, hello. It looks like we're back. I'm willing to concede we're back. What do you think? Are we back? I believe we're back. Okay, well, I'm really sorry about that, guys. This weekend, we've had our share of problems, haven't we? Right, so what happens now is <laughs> you need a piece of paper. Did you see me put the micropore down there? I'm not sure that you did. I put micropore down that, uh, over that crease line because it's going to have a journal sewn into it, so it needs every chance it can get. But in here, we need to put another bit of paper <laughs> in a similar manner to this one, except let's hope it goes a bit more smoothly. So I'm thinking that the gold is probably quite a nice one for there. You won't see much of this because it gets fabric also put over it. But I quite like that gold for there. So I just want it to go inside that pocket a little bit and inside this pocket a little bit. Not massive amounts because um, then I just make a complete mess of it. So I'll cut it there and hopefully, you know, I'll be able to get it in without Mike expiring from holding his breath for too long. <laughs> right. The internet's truly playing up this weekend. No. No idea why, nothing's different. So I'm just going to ink top and bottom because they're the only bits that you'll that you'll see. And I'm not going to stick the fabric on next because it bulks it up and it makes it difficult to stick the fabric the papers on the outside. So come back, glue. So, sorry guys, thank you very much for sticking with us. Um, we're not normally slick. I don't think you could ever call us a slick operation. But we don't usually have problems like that. There's so much actually goes into having two or three or four cameras uh, into one feed. I could never ever do it. So you've got to hope that nothing ever happens to Mr. F, because if it does, that's the end of the lives. I could possibly figure out how to do a video, maybe. Right, let's give this a whirl. have to do live lives. Yeah, yeah. Just, just, you know, book like the Albert Hall and they'll all turn up. I don't think so. So I'm just sliding that into that section there. And then we've got a similar problem to that which we had before. Oh, come on. Just make my life easy, just once. Go on. You know you can. Right, so now I'm really off kilter here.
Mm, not straight. It's not straight. Let's just give it a bit of a tug and see if it will go straight. Oh, it's going. I don't want to tear the paper though. I think that'll be fine because there's fabric. I'm going to put this fabric down the spine anyway. I mean, if you can make a better job of it, that's that's great. But it's not too bad. So that gets folded. Oh, put the lid on my glue before we have another Mount Etna type performance. And just crease it down the line. You've already creased it before. Make sure you've got no wrinkles inside. And burnish that fold in. Say bye to Esther. Esther. Bye. He didn't even call your name out, so I'm really sorry I didn't know you were watching, but have a nice time wherever you're off to, and thank you very, very much for joining us. Right, so that's pretty much the insides done. That folds over to there, that folds over to there. That's not wanting to go there. You have to make sure at this stage that it really does fold properly. Mike says, excellent job. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Right, that's okay. That's folding nicely now. I'm happy with that. So turn the whole thing over. So we have got a top, which I'm going to just mark. And the top is up here. So I'm just going to put a T for top up there. In case we're using any more directional paper and I don't want the outside and the inside to be going different ways. Because that sounds like something I would do. So these are the bits that are really visible. These are the bits that you see. That bit, that bit and that bit. So I want them to be, you know, well not that any of this is horrible, but we want it to be really nice. So what shall we choose? Carrie says she's loving your paper choices. Oh, are you, Carrie? That's interesting. Thank you. Well, I'd sort of kept this piece back, hadn't I, for the, the very front. So let's use that first then. So if that's the top, this is going to be the front. Okay. You know, when I say things like that and you think, don't be so patronising. <laughs> I'm not saying them to patronise you. I'm saying them because generally, I, you know, I need to help myself. I need help. I need help from buying envelopes. You're going to be watching me make envelope things from now until the day I curl my toes up, I think. Lynn Griffiths says hi. Hi, Lynn. Thanks for joining. quite wide. That's the top, this is the front. No, it's fine. So that's going to go there. Just before I stick it on, let's just see what other choices we have to make. That might be quite nice for the bit that folds in. This bit here. Or would it be better in something different? No, I think I'll make it in the in this. I really love this. I would wallpaper my house in this, definitely. Well, not, not every room. Uh, Jen says, what else did you get from BB Crafts? Jump rings. What else? I have no idea. Um, I wasn't party to the decision. Jump rings. I wasn't read in. Well, it wasn't kind of exciting. Well, it was exciting. It's always exciting spending money, especially when it's not yours. Um, I can't remember, Jen. You have to wait for the exciting unboxing video. Says, where's the paper from? The paper is uh, from Etsy. 
It's from a shop called Taylor Made Journals. It's a girl called Lorna Taylor. Um, and I think, yeah, it's scrolling along the bottom of your screen. Clever Mr. F. Right, so that's, that looks like it's going, needs to go that way, doesn't it? Yeah, I think so. So that's our two, isn't that gorgeous? It's just gorgeous. Right, so I'm going to ink around these, stick them on. But this is set three that I've got, that I'm using today, I believe. Uh, I have purchased another set, <laughs> full disclosure, this morning. Um, and I think I purchased set four. But I mean, the, you know, they're all gorgeous. But the question is, do you actually need all of them? No, don't be stupid. That's not a question I would ever ask myself on Etsy. <laughs> do you need this? <laughs> don't be stupid. Oh dear, of course you need it. <laughs> That's the thought of me about to check out and saying to myself, well, do you need it? <laughs> That'd never happen. <laughs> right, oh dear. I'm not the only one now, I know that. We're all similarly afflicted. Chef says, what colour is the inking pot? The inking pot is Cozy Clay. They are funny names for the, for the stuff. And actually, it looked much darker than that. But Cozy Clay it is. That's a nice brew today. Thank you. Say bye to Benice. Bye, Benice. Thanks so much for joining us. Kathleen, did you print these out from a digital download? Kathleen? Yeah. Kathleen, you haven't been listening. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. It's a digital download. I think um, Mr. F had it scrolling along the bottom there for a while. It's uh, from a shop called Tailor Made Journals on Etsy. Uh, and it's the Grungy Wallpaper set number three. But all the sets are really nice. Because they don't sort of go, you know, when you look at, I mean, there were some bright turquoises in my set, some greys, which would also be nice. Oh, uh, Dixie. Yeah. It says, do any of the people on Etsy do a, a hard copy or is it all just digital? Copy? I have seen people, uh, and actually, is Lynn Morris on? Uh, Lynn Morris bought a kit from Chapter One Papers. Um I saw her doing a, video, a YouTube video about it and they printed them out for her. Um, but I don't know if that's the thing they always do or if it was a thing because Lynn's got a YouTube channel and she was going to be using them. Uh, I'm not sure. But it I mean, is possible. It is possible and it's also possibly worth contacting the shop that you want, you know, where you want to buy the papers from and say will you print me out a copy and how much will it be yeah, and Sarah says she bought eight of those ink blending pots the other day and she loves them yeah they're gorgeous which colors did you go for please i need to know they're really really nice carolyn lacy says yay she's finally got a year on from kimberley in western australia oh welcome to western australia my goodness me it's so nice to have you here kimberley and Anique getting sleepy and she doesn't want to drop the phone on her face again. Oh no, Anique. Night, night, my darling. Have a pleasant sleep. Uh, and Sharon Davis says, pardon her ignorance, if you buy a digikit, can you print it out once or can you print it out as many times as you like? As many times as you wish. You own it for life. You do. And, of course, Mr F has shown you how you can alter it. Chop bits out of it, enlarge bits, make bits smaller. So, you know, if you've got a page that you think, oh, that would make a really nice journaling card, Mr. F has shown you how to minimise, that's not the right word, resize, resize um, your digis. 
and it's up on YouTube. It's on my channel under playlists, Mr. F. Um, so, you know, if I wanted this, for example... Judy says some creators have a limit. Some do, Julie. Yes, you're quite right in saying it. it's usually about 200. And some also say, and it's very rare this, but some also say that you can't resell the stuff. You can't sell the stuff you've made with their papers. That's very rare because most of us do. Um, but check the small print. Check it will tell you in the description what you're allowed to do and what you're not allowed to do. Um, if, for example, I wanted this, I thought, oh, that's really nice and making really nice journaling card. But you know, I don't just want to cut a card out because the pattern's too big. Then Mr. F shows you how to take that whole piece of paper and resize it down into the size that you want your journaling card to be. Which means, you know, you're getting double duty out of your, your papers. So there we are, that's that done. So just, this is going to be the, the back kind of thing, as it were. So I do like that, but it might be shouting a little bit at these ones. Um, I've got the remnants of that first bit that I used. That's a bit white, especially for the back of somewhere that might get marked. Um, this one, I think, is going to be my favourite. And the only other whole one I've got is that one. <gasps> I hear you, held it. Oh, that one. That's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, says Mr. Fix It, so let's do that. Not often he says anything, so it's about choices of paper. Got plenty to say about other things. Carolyn says she enjoys your work and she just received a distress crayon, crayons and wildflowers. So she's going to do the tutorial that you did. Ah, oh, oh yeah. The distress crayons are, are nice. But don't press down too hard on them because they can just flake away quite easily. I haven't used mine for a while now. Yeah, we cover some topics here, don't we, Mr. F? We cover everything. You know, looking back at all the things that I've actually made this year, folios and the like, it's quite a lot. Mm. But generally, I do journal every day, and I appreciate that not everybody else in the world does. Right, so I'm going to put that there, line it up with the others and put that there and I think it'll look quite nice. A glue. I think it's at quarter past three it says. It's almost dark here now. And we've still got another good three weeks to go before we get to the shortest day. That is the opposite of you, I imagine, Kimberly. Does it get very hot where you are? I always imagine that Western Australia isn't too bad. So when you get further up north in Australia, I think it gets really horrible. And snakes and crocodiles and all sorts of everything trying to eat you and poison you. <laughs> Doing a holiday brochure here for Australia. <laughs> oh dear. All right, so just try and line those up there. And they will line up at the top. Lovely. <laughs> Feels quite nice doing that. <laughs> I don't know why. Easily pleased. Right, so everything should be stuck down now. And let's just check that it folds up. So that folds into there. That folds into there, yep, okay, happy with that. Right, now then, I want to apply a piece of fabric to there. 
just to strengthen that um, little sort of hinge thing that we've got, you know, the it's not a hinge, crease. So I've got this um, a canvas, it is really. And I'm just, I don't want it too wide, but it has to be wide enough. So I'm going to say about there. Well, a little bit more because I'm going to fray it. Let's see if I can rip that. Wow, I'm strong today. Take off all the frilly bits on the side. I mean, you you know, you may want to fray it even more. That looks quite nice to me. And fray this side, which hasn't wasn't frayed. Ellie Dawn says she's late to the party. Hi, Ellie. So I'm going to stick that down there like that over that the crease just to strengthen it. So I'll we'll cut it off about there. And really I need Fabri-Tac to stick that on. But I don't want it to come through. Just checking where the crease is, I couldn't see it. Actually I'm going to use um, a big bottle of Fabri-Tac. top and bottom as well. There, let's see how far that's got us. So I'm just going to take my finger, it's almost dry that already. Centralise that up as best you can. Like that. A wonky weave on it. So there we are, we've got that fabric. Uh, in the other ones, I used a patterned fabric. I used this sort of cream and green one, um, but I thought there's probably enough pattern going on with this that just a, a, a piece of plain canvas would do the job. Now, as you can see, it needs some more glue down either side, so I'm just going to do that now. Now I've got it fixed, it's easier to see the size of the problem. And on the other side. Giselle says hi, she just woke up from New York. Giselle? Yes. Hi Giselle. Very envious of you being in New York. Are you in New York, New York? And Jean says that fabric tack is viscous. Yeah, I could think of another word for it. I've, I've, I've fallen out with it. I really have because every time it just ends up exploding on me. And I know the tricks about expelling the air and all that sort of thing, but it just doesn't seem to matter. It just does not want to play ball. Right, OK. I'm going to square this off almost. I'm just going to leave a tiny little bit sticking out. And see if I can fray it. Yeah. Zanette says hi. Hi Zanette. From Wisconsin. Is that the cheese state? <laughs> I'm getting my information here from Fraser, so it may not be accurate. <laughs> there we are, I've just frayed along the, along the top there. 
um, and that's that. Okay. Well, I didn't think we were going to get this far today, actually, with the uh, draw, etc. Uh, so, what's next? Well, the next thing to do is the little flippy journal. That says, yes, it is. New York, New York. How fortunate. No, cheese state. Cheese state. See? <laughs> it's yeah. educational watching, Fraser. It is. Right, so this is the other envelope that we're going to put on. This this one here. Um, and I shall show you how I did it before. It doesn't matter if it's bigger than this pocket. It does matter if it's bigger than that crease. So it's going to go on there. And there's the crease. So I'm a good half inch inside that. It's uh, quite tall and I don't want it this tall because I'm going to make it into a pocket. So I want it to come where the paper starts at the bottom. And uh, arbitrarily just say where you want it to be. Where do you want your pocket to end? Out there, I think. So I'm just going to slice along there. Oh, I did perfect and then I moved it. Right. Ink it and then we're going to put papers on it. Sponge is getting bedded in now, it's getting some ink in it, working better. Both sides, because both sides are visible. Phew, for one moment there, I thought my, tap, my uh, flap was stuck down. That would never do. I can't remember how much of this you can see. Not much, I don't think, but I'm just going to ink in that crease there, just in case. There we go. Right, so what happens is this. Where is it? Um, that goes, <laughs> I nearly forgot, that goes there, al almost to the edge, but not, not quite, a little gap off there. Um, and we're going to affix this, but not, you know, not in that shape, because it's not very pretty like that. So I'm going to cut that off at about an inch, say, three quarters of an inch, an inch, something like that. Well, it looks like it's three quarters because that's where my ruler came to rest. And I want a bit of paper just to cover that, that I'm going to cut square. So we've got a nice, I'll show you what I mean. There this piece here, which we don't glue all the way down and it becomes a tuck spot for this. Clever. So, um, just a piece of paper on there is the next thing. Thank you. So what have we got then by way of remnants? Oh, I've got that. It would do the job, but it's quite white, isn't it? Um, I've got that. That's a new sheet. Oh, I've got that. Mm. I think that's going to be the winner. Although, hang on, that's quite nice, isn't it? Come out the way, you're too white. 
I, I quite like that against the pink no that whole rigmarole and yet I could guess what I was going to use anyway it's too narrow to cover that so we might as well use it up as best we can so what I'm going to do is just stick this I knew as soon as I turned it over I'd forget what I was doing yeah stick that this part of the flap onto the paper so the outside of the flap it isn't easy being me <laughs> I can't remember what I'm doing here. Yeah, no, that's not right. Is that right? I think it must be. If it's not, I can't think what else it could be. Right, so that, yeah, that's on there. No, that's not right, is it? It must fold. We need the, the thing there. Oh, it must fold that way. I think I've done this completely upside down, guys, but never mind, it doesn't really matter. But just remember, when you come to this stage, whoops, mine's upside down. Right, so what I'm going to do is cut that off square and slightly more than the three quarters of an inch that are left on the last one. So I'm going to cut it off at about... Um, an inch and a quarter. Let's just have a quick look. Yeah, it's about an inch and a quarter. So I'm going to cut that off at an inch and a quarter. Yes, let's sound positive. Sound like we think we know what we're doing. So get your inch and a quarter on your crease of your envelope, which will be very visible because you'll have inked it. And cut that off. And then just cut that off as well, square along there. Okay, Jean, thanks and so much. And Terry, bye everyone. Thanks so much for joining us. Your company is always appreciated. Right, so let's just get this right. So that goes onto there like that and becomes a tuck spot and this flips out yeah okay it is upside down for what i thought i was doing but <laughs> it's acceptable okay so let's just write on this a t for top let's see what happens when i don't t for top T for top well that's a bit unfortunate because I wanted to make this the pocket part but um, obviously now it's not I'm gonna have to slice a little bit off the top so let's just stick that down it's a bit of a ham-fisted way to go about this but um, it'll work so I'm just gonna cut just the merest hint of a sliver off there uh, just so it opens like a pocket should yeah that's fine right so now we need some paper to cover it with are you all confused now have I confused everybody I hope not but it's possible that that is the case um, okay so to cover my envelope I would like I can't help feeling that that's sort of overly extended does that look oh no it looks all right I thought it looked like it was pulled one way no I think it's okay I don't know whether to use that it's it's really quite bright our other choice is that one yeah I'm going to use that one 
that's the thing when you've got so many really gorgeous papers isn't it so i'm going to leave a little margin around it i'm going to uh, cut it quite close to the join but not on it and the same here so it's just got a little margin around it How are you doing, Shaz? I haven't, I haven't spoken to you for ages. Doesn't mean to say I don't think about you, because I do. Uh, the moment she's got a woodpecker on a bird table. Shaz? Yeah. Wow! A green one or a, a black and red one? That's amazing. So that's the top, and I think this pattern's going that way. So that's going to go there. Now, in order to keep the pocket that we we want, which is this here, we're going to have to stick down there. But Kerry says it's two thirty a.m., so she's going to sleep. Oh, Kerry, what a trooper! Thanks for staying with us for so long. Sorry, you didn't win anything in the giveaway. It's just the way it goes. So what you, if you stick this whole piece of paper down on there, you ju the pocket isn't going to work. Mags Nash says, sorry, she's got to go. Fair enough. Thank you very much for joining us. So what I'm going to do is put glue around this bit here. And then well, I'm going to ink around there first before I get carried away with myself. And that needs inking around as well. I'm just going to stick the papers on this envelope, I think, and that's possibly it for today, I think, because that's most of the construction done anyway. Would you like a video through the week to finish this off, or, or none of you are going to make it? I made it look so impossibly ridiculously hard. It's not. Right, okay then, so the top is there. I'll stick it onto this side first, it's easier. I think I'm going to use the same paper for both sides anyway. I do like that, it's so pretty. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, should you decide that you want to use the same... Uh, paper the exact same sheet of paper for every single thing in this uh, little trifold just put, keep printing it out just keep printing the same sheet over and over um you know you're allowed to do it unless you know as julie says some of them do say you can't print more than 100 or 200 copies or whatever i've never got close to that ever Jenny says she's already got her envelopes out. Have you? Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll try and do a video through the week, Jenny, because I don't want to leave you hanging with a half-finished trifold. So that's that side. So this side, I'm, I think I'm going to use the same paper. It's too nice. It's too nice. Needs needs to be used. You might find it interesting, you guys to have a look on the tailor-made journals uh, page and just see if I marked that on the envelope. That's like really useful thing to do, isn't it? Not. There. Right, so I'll put this one out. You've been really good at staying with me today, guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate I'm not the fastest in town, but you know, when it comes to things like inking, you've kind of got to do it as it crops up. It's either that or I get everything cut beforehand. I can't even see where that line is. 
Um, and then it's just it, it's just boring then I think. Oh, must be this piece. <laughs> Have I got a mark on there anyway? Yep, yeah, there we go. So I'll show you what to do with this. If if you were a winner in the draw earlier on and your um, name and address isn't on the rack list, can you please message me um, with your address so I know who to send it to. So this is the top up here. So we want that like that. We want to ink it first. Don't forget to ink it. We've been really good at inking things, so be ashamed to forget now. And we'll do our level best to get everything dispatched tomorrow. Right, so now comes the slightly tricky bit. Oh, there's a bird on there. Um, in as much as you can't just glue the back and stick it onto there, otherwise you won't have a pocket because you'll, you'll, you'll stick the paper down to here. So it won't work. So let's just put a tiny little bit of glue on there just to keep that closed right keep it closed i said so what i'm going to do is put glue around the edge of that uh, envelope opening and in this uh, triangle shape piece here And what I then need to do is put a line of glue, thin line down the edge that's going to be next to the crease, which is there. And then glue my paper from there across. So I hope you understood what I, what I did there. to the crease and that goes there goes there hopefully that's all right you needed that bead of glue to hold this down otherwise there was nothing to hold it onto. Um, now I'm just going to give that a second then I'm going to go in with my bone folder to make sure that I haven't stuck the wrong thing to the wrong thing or that the glue hasn't oozed out into what we want to be a pocket so that's going to get stuck onto our onto here you can stick it anywhere you want to but you know just bear in mind that your journaling card needs some space to come out at the top so i, I, I think i'm going to put mine level with the papers at the bottom and just a couple of mil in from the edge and i've still got plenty of space there to to bend that it's not up to the crease so let's just check the pocket situation no that's lovely oh, apart from there just this bit on the bottom there if you don't do things when you see them they don't get done and then heaven forbid it should get sent out to somebody not not right okay that's that so then this now needs some glue and it just needs it down the sides along here the other side so leaving the front sort of opening open if you like and 
it wants to get stuck level with the bottom of the paper and just in from the edge as I say a couple of mils there like that press that down There we are, that should be, just give that a second to, just to tack up properly. Lovely, that's great. So that's going to get a journaling card in there, in the top. It can get a pocket there or there or both places if you want to. It's going to get a sheet of design paper for inked round both sides back and front and fold it in there uh, for journaling. It's going to get the same uh, a sheet of paper inked and folded up into there. It's well in mine I've put two journaling cards in there but you could very easily put another piece of paper in for journaling. It's going to get a little journal made and put in there for proper journaling and then on the outside it gets the envelope that we laid out at the beginning, which is this one. So it gets that covered with paper and sewn onto that spine. And that's it then, apart from cards and stuff. So we've covered loads today. We've done really well. Um, and I hope you could follow along with everything. And I will try my very hardest to do a video to... Um, catch you up through the week so you can finish your lovely little project. I've really enjoyed this project. It's really, it's easy, but it looks so effective, I think. Um, and really, that's all she wrote. <laughs> uh, go and have a look at Lorna's papers. They're so pretty. Um, and uh, thank you to Barbara at 49 Dragonflies for the idea. Um, it's certainly not my original idea. It belongs to Barbara. Um, I don't know if she, I think she said she got it from somebody else. I'm not sure. But so that's that, ladies and Mike. <laughs> uh, thanks very much for your company. I've loved it. It's been a, it's been great having a giveaway. I love when we can give stuff away. So I'll see you. I'll see you through the week and Mr. F will definitely see you because he's got to do his Take 5 Challenge and the new Take 5 Challenge will be on on Tuesday. So you better hurry yourself up a bit. Uh, so yeah, Mr. F probably do his live tomorrow with the Take 5 Challenge. I'll do my Take 5 Challenge on Tuesday and sometime during the rest of the week I'll do the completion of this uh, little trifold. Okay, guys, more than that I cannot do. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Take care, everybody. Thanks for joining me. Bye. Bye.